Good evening and thanks so much for joining us on your Monday. I'm Sophie Erber. We have new details tonight on that rail bridge blast that obviously has come down at least on the South Dakota side of that bridge. This is a planned demolition. There was a perimeter set up around 8 o'clock this morning for that 9 a.m. demolition. Again, that was just on the South Dakota side. BNSF Railway is trying to slowly bring down that damaged bridge that, it, of course, was damaged in the June floods. This was just the first of two blasts, and it shook the Riverside and North Sioux City communities today. This morning was the removal of that South Dakota side. It was damaged back on June 23rd when the Big Sioux crested at record levels. We don't know the exact date yet of the Sioux City side in that Riverside area that they will be bringing it down. But again, this North, uh, South Dakota side, I should say, part of the bridge will be cleaned up and the plan is to replace that current structure entirely. It's a trust span bridge with a plate girder bridge with deeper footing in that pier in the future. Once that starts for rebuilding the bridge, it'll be up to about nine months, but that's from the time we get the permits that are required and the material that's required. And that includes the steel fabrication for the new bridge. And we're in that design phase now. Macbeth adds that workers are already on the scene picking up after today's explosion. They expect it to take about two weeks to clear the area that's ahead of the next removal.